fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. Can you imagine watching the World Cup in 3D in the comfort of your own home? I mean, they did say that we were going to do that in the last World Cup. Well, that option may be available sooner than you think. An optical scientist and his team at the University of Arizona are working to make next generation holograms possible. I love this technology. These researchers foresee the day, possibly within the next decade, when laser generated holograms will be transmitted anywhere in the world in real time. Take a look at this. Remember the first time you saw high definition TV? Bet you swore you'd never go back. But until you've seen the latest in hologram technology, you haven't seen anything yet. So if you want to watch a soccer game or a football game in real time and in 3D, you need to capture that information at place A, transport it, and then display it in place B. It has to be at low cost, and it has to be at low energy consumption. With support from the National Science Foundation, Optical scientist Nasser Pegamberian and his team at the University of Arizona are working to make next generation holograms possible. They foresee a day, maybe within the next decade, when laser generated holograms like these will be transmitted anywhere in the world in real time. And what about the second cylindrical lens? Is that another area that we could uh, gain some image quality? Here's how they do it. First, an array of cameras takes images of a subject at slightly different angles. So first we'll see the 16 views of Nasser, and then here we'll see them all sliced and diced up. Nearby, a laser creates the hologram on a plastic surface. We have a laser here where the beam is going to be split in two directions. But they say transmitting a hologram, especially a moving image, takes a huge amount of bandwidth and power. For now, figuring out how to do it faster and cheaper are the toughest hurdles to clear. They are also working on developing user-friendly means to display the hologram. Right now, you need this pretty elaborate laser lab setup. So we need to go from megabits to terabits a second in terms of the amount of data transmission you would need to send a hologram across the country or around the world. And so I need 10,000 times more information to make a hologram than just what you'd see on a regular video monitor. And so they're looking at different encoding techniques. Pagan Berrien says the entertainment industry is chomping at the bit for new hologram technology. So are doctors and the military. You may want to have various doctors from different parts of the world collaborate together to do a complicated surgery. And uh, defense applications exist, command and control taking communication of big data to the next dimension. It's a real challenge. Good thing this team has laser focus. 